right. So this morning, we are going to talk about, well, let's review really quick. What have we been talking about? What is, who remembers what we talked about last week? Okay, guys, listen. I need, you to par I need you to listen. I need you to participate. You gotta be on track, on task, okay? Thanks, appreciate it. William, what did we talk about last week? Okay. Do you remember any details about that? Baptized. 
baptism is just, it's an outward expression that you love God and that you, like, I think it was Eric that said that you're showing that you're dedicating your life to God. Right? Now, so, being put under water is a symbol of death of the old person, and being brought back up is a symbol of new life. The water is a symbol of washing clean. Now, the most common reason for being baptized is to tell people that you were once a sinner. Who's a sinner? If your hand's not up, you better put it up because guess what? Everybody in this room is a sinner, has sinned. Everybody in this room has sinned. But. <laughs> so if you. Or ha if you've ever sinned before, raise your hand, I should say. Right? Everybody's hand should be up because we're all sinners, right? But the, so the most common reason for being baptized is to tell people that once you were a sinner, but now you no longer are. And other reasons for being baptized include maybe, maybe you walked away from God and now you've rededicated your life to Him. And you're starting, maybe you're starting a new ministry in your life. Okay? So when Jesus was baptized, it was to show that he was beginning a new ministry in his life. Because guess what? Jesus never sinned. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm glad that you know no, that. that means no, he listening. punched someone. He punched someone. So, just the guy. does anybody know who baptized Jesus? Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Oh, okay. No. Uh, Anaya. His cousin. Okay. Favor. His cousin John. Okay. Oh, John. Yeah, John. Jason. <laughs> His cousin. Okay. Kevin. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to move you if you can't stop. This is your warning. Please stop. Thank you. Jesus came to a place where a man named John was baptizing people. Now, we know John today as John the Baptist. Baptist meaning someone who baptizes. And John was also from Jesus' family. I heard some of you say that he was his cousin. Their mothers were cousins, and John and Jesus were about the same age. So, this is what happened. So, I'm going to read. So, as you can tell from up here... The, the verses um, are from four different chapters, uh, Matthew chapter 3, Mark chapter 1, Luke chapter 3, and John chapter 1. So I encourage you to read those chapters, but I'm just going to read a few, a few verses. So in Matthew chapter 3, I'm going to start in verse 13, it says, Then Jesus came to Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him, and John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you, and you're coming to me? But Jesus answered to him, permit it, permit it to be so, for it is fitting for us to fulfill the righteousness. And then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and a lightning, a lightning, Sorry, alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So this is what happened. When Jesus came to John to be baptized, John tried to stop him. Well, here's the reason why John tried to stop him. Jesus was Jesus was the Messiah. Jesus. Huh? Oh, I you were trying to say something. Okay. John told him that, wait, whoa, hold up. I need to be the one that's baptized by you. But Jesus told him, you got to let this happen. Because I need to do this. And so John said, okay. And he allowed it, and he, and he ended up baptizing Jesus. The Bible says that afterward, the Spirit of God came upon Jesus in a visible form. Can you see a spirit? No. No, no, no. Usually not, but the Spirit of God took the form of a dove and rested upon Jesus. God's Spirit is very gentle 
and comes on you almost out of nowhere. A dove is a peaceful animal, and God is a peaceful God. So let me ask you this question. Do you need to be baptized to go to heaven? No. 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 You are correct. Yes. No, you do not. Because our salvation comes from our belief in Jesus Christ. Confession and repentance of our sins and inviting Jesus to take control of our lives. That's what saves us. However, we are told in the Bible that we should be baptized as it is an open statement to the world that we are Christians and it's a very good thing to be baptized. And a very good thing to be Christians. Okay. So I heard some of you say this morning, no, I've never been baptized, but I want to be baptized. So can you be baptized too? Absolutely. You can. What you need to do, this is what I encourage you to do. If you are wanting to be baptized, I'm going to encourage you to talk to your mom and dad or grandma and grandpa or whoever it is that brings you to church. And then they can help you talk to pastor to find out when you can be baptized. And I will tell you this, he's going to ask you some questions to make sure that you understand what baptism is and why it is that we are to be baptized. And then they'll schedule a time for you to be baptized. And it's a wonderful thing. Um, I was I was seven when I was baptized. Um, and my pastor, uh, I didn't go to this church then, and Pastor Greg was not my pastor at that time. But my pastor, he said to me, do you understand what baptism is? And I had to, I had to actually tell him what it meant to be baptized. Because if you don't understand what baptism is, then you're not quite ready for it yet, okay? So it's it's so important to understand what baptism is and why you want to be baptized. Yeah. But I do remember, um, I remember being baptized with some other friends of mine, but they wanted to make sure, are you being baptized because your friends are being baptized or are you being baptized because you completely understand why you're being baptized? And so that's why pastor, our pastor, Pastor Greg, will ask you, some questions about it but it is if you're ready for it and you and you talk to your parents about it I encourage you I really do and I'll be there I'll be there to watch you I yes sir is yes it done in children's church or in the adult church so it's actually done in the adults church usually what happens is we pick a Sunday night during the month and uh, we have we call it baptism Sunday and um, we'll do the baptisms that night okay Oh, you get, uh, tonight? Oh, is that the play? Oh, no, tonight is play practice. Um, but uh, I believe the next one is, it's either going to be January or February. Probably February, but I don't know for sure. But that's why if you're ready to be baptized, talk to your parents about mm -hmm. it. Talk to them today before you leave church, and then you guys can go talk to pastor. Just say to them, Mom, Dad, or whoever you come with, I really want to be baptized. This is what being baptized means. And... Can I be baptized? And if they say yes, then you guys can talk to Pastor about it, and then he would set up the date and time for you, okay? So, Jesus set the example for us, because, like I said, Jesus never sinned. He didn't have to ask God into his heart, because he is God, right? So, but Jesus wanted to set the example for us to show us what it meant to be baptized. Now, Jesus' reason for being baptized, he was getting ready to start a new ministry. And he was, he was getting ready to pick his disciples and have that ministry with them and go out and spread the word of God to everyone. And so that's why he wanted to be baptized. And so at first, John, John was like, uh, uh you need to baptize me. And Jesus said, no, I need you to baptize me. And so finally he said, okay, I'll do it. And so, if you're ready to be baptized again, I encourage you to talk to your parents about it, and then you guys can talk to the pastor. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. That is all that I have for you this morning, but before we finish, let's go ahead and pray. Okay? Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for this day. Thank you for bringing us here this morning, and thank you for your word that you brought to us. Lord, I pray that as we, as children, 
are becoming ready to be baptized, I pray that you would lay it on our hearts and that you would help us to be brave and courageous to be able to talk to our parents about it and that we can pick a time to be baptized. Lord, I pray that if there's anyone in here that doesn't know you, I pray that they would come to know you as their Lord and Savior. And God, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your joy. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.